Okay, welcome back. So, never want to be in the I want to check. Did you have anything? Welcome back yeah, to enjoy our unmatched selection. Uh, virtuation and quick spell. So I couldn't remember if he had any clothes I wanted. Plus one bonus to spell save DC. Starting your turn, uh, find surface. That would not be a terrible thing. However, I like my advantage on dexterity checks plus two to dexterity. So, um, Perhaps not. look, a bookseller. She can point us at the tome I need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's quite a bit of stuff I need to do here. Apparently, it's not just my hat, which, by the way, it still looks freaking awesome. But, um, I also need to get, uh, an upgrade to Gale's Necromancy Tome, and also, um, get an axe for Carlac. Yeah, there's stuff here that I need. Literature department. Can I help you? Um, just anything special of her tomes. First, I want to see what she has on trade. Uh, chain lightning scroll. I'm not sure if I should get that. Um, let's see. Scroll of Disintegration. Um, yeah, nothing other than the Scroll of Disintegration. There's nothing I want, and I don't want to spend all my money. So, Netherese Crown. Anything on that? Psst. These books are sensitive. They prefer an environment of quiet reverence. Okay. Perhaps Bold. You might have heard that our library has a collection other shops would lack the skill to curate. Between us. Even Master Lerokin was reluctant to house them in his tower. The pen is mightier than the magic wand, apparently. <laughs> They're locked away here for their and our customers' safety. Our finest reserve includes the Tharkia Codex, Codex, the Annals of Carsis and Netherese Folly, Sites of the Sealy, and the Curriculum of Strategy. Do any of those interest you? All of them, actually. Um. Oh. What's an issue of Boulder's Mount Gazette doing in here? Codex. Hmm. Interesting choice. If I didn't know better, I think you might have the necromancy of Fae. In your possession? I don't have it in my possession. I'd advise tremendous care with the Tharkia Codex. The cost of unlocking its mysteries is onerous. Yes, yes. I, I'm well aware, but... Let's see. I'm sure there's gold about in the Netherese It is called. said to be written by Lord Carsis himself. The Netherese Arcanist who attempted to replace the goddess Mistra failed. And was banished for the attempt. Great magical knowledge lies within those pages. 
But not many can withstand it. That's it. That's what I need. The annals of Carsus would no doubt have much to say about the crown's true nature. If only you could read them. Uh, how much for me to buy? Buy? Books as temperamental as these are not on sale. They are secured in our vault, where none can harm them, nor can they do any harm. Consider yourself lucky to have learned of such a book's existence, and then forget about it. The annals of Carsus are best left unread. Job to share knowledge, not keep it locked away. At least tell me where this vault is. <clears throat> Let me just, uh, Jedi mind trick. Come on. I was gonna say at least a seven, and I auto succeed. Twenty-three. Because why would it ever be anything lower? Uh, I swear I cannot fail a persuasion check. Uh. Customers like you are why I prefer the company of books. The only way to gain access to the vault is through my office. And before you ask, no, you are not allowed in there either. Surely there's some amount of gold I could keep without convincing you part way with the book. Psst. I already told you. It is locked in our vault. And with good reason. Imagine if a tome so dangerous was sold to someone with such poor comprehension. Oh well, I've learned to work it now. You certainly have. Even simple knowledge of these tones is enough to stimulate most. Well, Gail. The bustle here takes some getting used to. <laughs> Crackling fire and a tressum for company is usually... Still, we must flow with the current we find ourselves in, however tumultuous it may be. If you've need of me, I'm glad to help. Yes, yes. I made it back. <laughs> I'm here. Thank the gods. Yeah, this is an enter lower city dialogue. Any thoughts? Alders Gate. Yeah. You know, I never quite believed I'd actually make it back. Wasn't until we got within reach of Worms Crossing that it felt real. It's so strange. I don't remember much of it, yet I can't help feel like I know it. It feels like home. Uh, it is good to be back. I suppose it is. Though the chance to savor the moment might be brief, given all that still lies ahead of us. I may have to rely on your local knowledge to plug the gaps in my own mind. Hopefully, I'll remember more than I expect to. Yeah, hopefully. Um... I can tell you're a discerning customer. You're after nothing but the best. I think it's very funny. <laughs> Welcome, dear patron, to the floor at the top of the stairs. Crap. If you have information about the night song, great riches await. If you are here to waste the great wizard Laroican's time, reconsider. Let your knowledge determine your path forward. Crap. The night 
Lord's song is an immortal being, the child of a deity. The night song is a priceless ruby from a realm beyond our own. That's why we need crap, 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 crap. Seems simple enough. I have to go through a puzzle. The night I? song is an ancient potion that allows its drinker to become irresistibly attractive to man and god alike. The Night Song is a druidic staff that allows its bearer command over an army of ancient beasts. So I need to get access to the vaults. However, in order to do that, no rest for the wicked, I see. Okay, there. Ah, oh, okay. Cover two. Don't worry, this will make a bit of sense. Hopefully in a minute. Okay, uh, let's part with Cloud Kill and Ice Storm. Darkness and Knock will be added. Let's save. Right, Knock makes a lot of noise. Right, that's Dark Vision. And two. Okay, now darkness here. Now before I cast it, let's save. Then cast it. Wizards, you're so predictable. Let's save it again. Jump through. Ah, and would you look at that? Why is the game saving? Uh huh. Ooh, magic missile. No traps, please. Send that to Alchemist. Wait, all of these are alchemy ingredients, so send all of them to Alchemist. Alright, search the bottom one. Banishments. Wait, stack of scrolls. That's only one. That's only old person. Uh. That might be worth a look. Ooh, a button. Let's push it. Okay, opens the door to this way. So I've got part of the area unlocked, but I want to explore this first room as much as I can. Uh, 
that. Okay, that's the ledger. Okay. So there's two ways to go. Okay, search the vaults. Carlac. Jump over there. Just casually. Oh. I've got a long road ahead. So it's nuts. Don't give me trouble now. A DC ten chest like this. Ooh. Ooh, that is Valuable stuff. Twenty six. Yeah. Pick up. Animal speaking. Okay. And. Okay. Uh. Door, however. Let's save. Display case. Okay, the room looks like this is just another part of the vaults. Feels okay. All of ice, and circle of death. Send those to Gale because those are level six spells, and I don't remember which he has. Gold. And when it comes to this chest, yep, just alchemy ingredients. Send those to Alchemist. I really need to look at Alchemist ingredients and see what she has. Crack resistance and elixir. Yeah, I'm gonna add to wares because those are both elixirs. Uh. In this room, there's nothing else. So, let's lockpick. Okay, I need to roll it. Okay, there we go. Barrel. Quite some valuable knowledge hidden between these pages. Ooh. Send that to Gale. Hopefully he would be able to scribe the spell. I think I need to add anything else to wares. Okay, now pick up the book. Close the display case. Uh, there's like a 90% chance that we might have to get into a fight. Uh, because Gale had the brilliant idea of stealing from this place. Yes, I'm gonna blame this on Gale, despite the fact that I was gonna steal from this place anyways. Twenty-five. 
22. Go. Sent Alchemist. Restricted area. No entry to vaults. Trespassers will be disintegrated. Master Laroican. Disarm kit available. Each door named after a wizard of renown. The annals must be behind Cast's door. Hmm. Okay, I don't have any trap disarm kits on me. Arsis would lead to Gale's book. That's yeah, what. So there's only three doors. There's pressure plates. If I have no everyone today. except me in, in here. Let's go in. Soldier? That will reduce the damage that's taken. Now, now, time to press ahead. Ah, there's a cloud kill. Lock picking impossible. Huh. Ah, uh, it's magically locked. That. So I need Gale to cast no, knock three times. Hand on everything. Elminster's not around, so it might as well. Quite. Yeah. So I do have. Consider it done. Okay, the book that... Ah, oh, that goes to a different area. Okay. Just each. Okay. Uh, I'm ready. Whatever it takes. 
making me sweat. Uh, looking ahead. You have my attention. This is just marked with use. Uh, on my mind. I'm well in it. Spell slot, amulet, pearl power. There we go. Send that to Gale to have John, recover. Sure. And level three spell slot. Ah, it's been used. Okay. Items by type. Let's move. If not over, then through. Crux hmm. Vault. Master. I explored this bit as much as I can. So there's silver hands. Okay. I have to explore all of these, obviously. There's no way for me to disarm this because I don't have any disarm kits. Yeah, I can't go to camp here. Okay. Let's grab Gail's book. Patient Codex. DC 20. As long as I get 15. <laughs> Fucking barely. Okay. A uh, gel. Direct me. these to Gale. I'll have Gale work through getting... Ooh! Power quickness hat. When you deal fire damage with a level spell, you burn yourself and gain additional bonus action for this round. I'll pick that up. That sounds fun. Alright. One with the weave. Okay, next, save. Then, I have him read the codex. The book radiates power, but the words you read in the codex echo in your mind, guiding your eyes safely across the page. The once indecipherable glyphs now feel dangerously familiar. Promising unholy power to those who can take it. Uh, 
All right. Okay, it's DC 20. Um... It's a level 3 abjuration spell. Yeah, I'm just gonna... It's unfortunately bless concentration. Yeah. Okay, I'll use points of inspiration to... As you pass the strange glyphs, you can assailed from all sides. You see now that as you close them... The book refu... Okay. This is why I saved. Just in case it would fail and not let me read the book. Because I'm gonna brute force my way through this and save scum as many times as it takes to read this damn book. If you know what this book does, you know why I'm so gung-ho about trying to read it. If you don't, well, give it a little bit. So I'd probably title this, like, Sorcerer Vaults or something. The book the once indecipherable glyphs now feel dangerously familiar. Promising unholy power to those who can There we go. It. As you pass the strange glyphs, you can feel the book resisting. Ghostly voices whisper at you from the dark, probing and fighting your mind. But your will is iron, and you brush past these shades of the past, devouring every secret the book has to offer. You see now life and death are malleable as clay, to be bent and reshaped by your will. By your power. But as you close the book, a nagging doubt whispers in your mind. What consequences will there be for calling the dead from their rest? Search the cellar is done. Finally, investigate the. Oh, also, this. Wait, that bug persists? The wiki labels it as a bug. Um, so. Dance macabre. Create four ghouls that fight alongside you. Uh, these ghouls are immune to the detrimental effects of the gloves that Gale is wearing. But, the wiki says, hey, there's a negative tool, there's a dance, uh, there's a glitch where if you're a necromancer, uh, it'll let you summon an extra one. I'm ready. Any temporary hit points. Okay. That's fun. But it's only until next long rest. But still. Is that blood? No, never mind. Uh so Gale now has five ghouls that he can create for free. Once per long rest. These ghouls are immune to the negative effects. Oh. Yeah. 
some of them failed, and they're not going crazy. Examine. These ghouls have 30 health, AC of 17, 16 strength, 17 dexterity, 10 constitution, 11 intelligence, 10 wisdom, and 8 charisma. Uh... Yeah. For the most part, the only thing that really matters is they have plus three to initiative and plus three to their attacks. And I have five of them for free every long rest. So, needless to say, I have an army. Uh, Ready and willing. Yeah, and the spell does not cost anything. You just cast it for free. I want everyone to keep that in mind. So... What was I trying to do? Uh... Wizard of Waterdeep. I need to look around the vault to find out where the magical tome is. Uh, let's, let's go see. with this. Abjuration, illusion, evocation. Crap, 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 crap. Transmutation, abjuration. Wait. I turned off the traps. Let's go with illusion. Ah, oh, now that just leads back to where I was. Okay. So Lucian is back. So that's return. Go to abjuration. Crap. This place is more dangerous than I thought. Step carefully. Trap. There's a trap. This place is more dangerous than I thought. Shadow. So I went through transmutation what about evocation. Fine. Better be careful not to trigger that thing. Foresight. Invulnerability. Another step forward. Gates. So let's try invulnerability. Hmm. So evocation. Gates. Try. So, evocation, wish, foresight, rather. That just leads back here. Okay, so, abjuration is my only option left. So I tried shadow, let's try wild. So, abjuration, uh, whatever the last one was. Go. 
Looks like a trap there. Huh. So silver hands is just waste of time. Because illusion just sends you back. Tried and vulnerability and gates foresight. Yeah. Okay, what if I go evocation again? Then do wish. Aha! Be wary. This place is trapped. I can, you know. Unlock hereby the path to the Elminster Vault. Arnold's of Carsus. Scroll of Deep Throne. Ooh. What's that? Ooh. Send that to Gale. Hopefully he can learn the spell. Okay. Scrolls. Scroll of Disintegrates. Bears, great axe, lave, chest, wears, wears. Ooh, bow breaker. I'll send that to Karlak. Sounds like a fun weapon. Preamble to a civilization's downfall, committed to parchment by the very hand that wrought its destruction. Yeah. If the crown atop the Elder Brain was truly forged by Carsus himself. This book will confirm it. All we have to do is turn the page. 
Here you go. That devil Raphael was telling the truth. There's no doubt. The crown of Carsus is what's controlling the Elder Brain. And this, this is no mere journal. It contains Carsus's original plans for the crown's construction. His designs for godhood. Designed for self-destruction, more like it. Doesn't this crown, didn't this crown kill Carsus? Sign. Didn't the crown kill him? Not exactly. It was what he did with it that sealed his fate, and, for a time, that of magic itself. The crown was merely the means. The book states that the crown and netherstones were originally one construct, seemingly sundered at the moment of Carsus's downfall. If we can collect the crown setting and the three netherstones, and with the correct invocation of certain spells and gestures detailed in these notes, I think I could reforge it. I. Uh, has chaos. Uh, to what end, Gale? To every end you can imagine, and a thousand more beyond. I. Just think of it. The power of the gods in mortal hands at last would be free of doctrine and dogma, confined only by the limits of our imaginations. I promise you, the gods will never grant us such a blessing, no matter how much we worship and adore them. Uh, worlds are far, far. Uh, yeah, would you think Mr. will allow you to will let you do this? I don't know. Ao does not look kindly on gods meddling in mortal affairs. She may have no choice but to stand by and let events unfold. Even with the fate of the world at stake, she had little more to offer me than the means of blowing myself up at a more convenient time. She's done nothing to help us. Mistra wanted the brain obliterated because of this crown. She fears a world in which such power is beyond her control. Ready to be claimed by Carsus's successor. Uh, okay. You see, there's an old line that multiple different uh, stories will use when they have God or uh, different gods in their story used by deities. Um... And it's, when you do something right, people aren't sure that you've done anything at all. Because most of the time, these deities take a hands-off approach, just subtly guiding events to their uh, desired outcome, without directly interfering. So nobody ever knows that they're doing anything. Which leads to Mindsets like this, believing that beings are useless. Play your past temptation. Know exactly where such a reaching leads. Or destroy the next wizard who attempts it. Attempts would kill you as it did Carsus. Leave your last successor, your sword back. Unless you challenge gods themselves. Want the crown sell a score with Mistra. Yeah, um, you know exactly where this kind of overreaching lead scale. Neither of us can know what truly may be if we don't at least try. Potential is nothing in itself. Just a fleeting dream unless we drag it into the waking world. Please, at least think on it. Powerful as he was, Carsus lacks some advantages I can lay claim to. I know Mistra intimately, and I carry a fragment of the weave itself within my body. Carsus achieved many things, hmm, but he never managed that. 
Long road lies ahead before the crown comes into our possession. All I ask for now is that you do not dismiss this possibility out of hand. Please, at least think on it. Uh... Fine. I guess I won't stand in your way, exactly. This is no passing whim. Trust me. If I can obtain that crown, it will affect us all. It's not a decision I'll take lightly. It's our future that I'm thinking of. Can't rely on anyone else to do it for us. For now, we've learned all we can. Whatever comes of this, we cannot allow the crown to be reforged in Raphael's image. A devil wielding the might of Cassus. It would be the end of everything. Okay, he at least has some sense. Gail at least has some sense. It's a throne. I'll learn the spell. Strands the weave. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot of damage for a 100 foot range. Okay. Okay, I don't need knock. I'll take cloud kill. Still breathing, despite everything. Mm. Ooh, gold chalice. Take. Okay. Huh. Return. I've already been in here. I took all that I could. Abjuration. Uh -huh. Then behind to silver. Aha. Step carefully. There's a trap. Unlock hereby the path to the Carsus Vault. transmutation. No. Huh. The wiki said Carlac's axe was within... The axe I want to give to Carlac was in 
this vault. I'll just search the stuff on my phone. Me, wiki, there we go. Items. There's no weapons because. That's the only way I can get what I'm looking for. Great axe. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. Okay. Loaded from a gilded chest in the illusion section. So, silver hands. Location. It's located in a gilded chest. I did go about making sure I looted everything. While I'm at it, no one back home will ever believe this. How much farther can I go? Here we go. Always room for more. Go for a good meal. Ah, no time to rest. Let's see what this does. With haste. Once in faults upon finding. Doors go through silver hands and then exterior destroy the door labeled illusion. Wait, destroy the door? Huh. Would have taken me a few minutes to figure that out. Uh, let's send this to Carlac. What's the story? So this weapon does one D twelve slashing plus two plus strength modifier. And then an additional one D six fire damage. And it gives you heat. Which uh, take 1d4 fire damage each turn, but you can use heat convergence to do an extra one fire damage for every turn of heat you have remaining. So, what she can do to completely avoid damage, and the weapon just looks cool. 
so that's fun. Anyways, what I can have Karlak do is attack. I have her attack on her turn. Then I can extra attack. Yeah? That's I don't know how I have a foot wave weapon. Let's get going. Here goes nothing. Can't okay. slow down. Well, we've stolen everything I came here for. Well, it's not really stealing. And Google on my phone is going to be stupid. Oh, stealing from a sorcerer vault. Okay. Um. Run. You've wandered into a forbidden area. You sense it might be time to leave. It's. Uh, I'll be off then. Oh, yeah, yeah I, I was. I was trying to leave. You've been caught trespassing. A Where it'll go. I, people, what the? Okay. I'll move everyone individually because for whatever reason well they won't wander well back into the vault. Oh my gosh. I want to do a full circle around. Area do this and then go off. Oh my gosh. Salutations. Let's go. And these things are still interesting. Ugh. So I could report information about the night song, but I don't feel like don't doing that. Welcome back to Sorceress Sundries. You're sure to find what you're looking for. Yeah, there's nothing I want from you. I'll close my level up a while. Okay. Wait. Elminster? Oh, hello, my boy. No, don't mind me. I'm... Uh... Just enjoying a lungful of Baldurian air. <laughs> yeah, there's a distinctive aroma, though perhaps not one worthy of bottling. Tell me, what curiosities have you and your uh, companions discovered within the walls of this esteemed Emporium? Um, the fact that I have almost uh, 22 in charisma. I just need to get a plus one from anything. Uh, Gale can now summon four ghouls. Actually, five ghouls whenever he wants. Uh, once per long rest, with no cost whatsoever. Um. And uh, the Arnold's Persis. So, 
You have learned the truth of the enemy we face. The very tool with which its eponymous creator unmade magic itself. Perhaps now you understand what is at stake here, my boy. Though what Mr. asked of you was extreme, it was not without merit, nor demanded lightly. What are you saying? Or rather, what are you not saying? Mr. knows you defied her game. Well, of course she knows. She's Mr. Yeah. She bids you come to her holy shrine in the Stormshore Tabernacle. There, she will grant you an audience at last. Wait. You... You need to meet her, Gail. Uh, yeah, meet her, Gale. Uh... I'm curious enough to make the attempt. Alright. An audience with the mother of magic, it is. Perhaps... Perhaps that should have been your mission right from the start. Trust in yourself. Trust in the weave. If you are willing, trust in Mistra. There is a conclusion yet to be written in this sorry tale, Gale of Waterdeep. And yours is the quill that will write it. Let's go to an area that's a bit more quiet. Okay. So aside from the ghouls and some inaudible chatter, this so all it took quiet. to get Mistress' attention was to learn how to reforge an artifact that once destroyed her. It's obvious when you stop to think about it. Uh, what do you think she wants to say? She's scared of you. One step closer to being able to challenge her. How could she possibly know you read a book? Cause she got more important things to write about. She might, she might want to punish you. Yep, what do you think she wants to say? Well, I doubt it's an apology for asking me to die on her behalf. Whatever it is. If it's important enough to send Elminster, we can be damn sure she's serious. This is a conversation that's long overdue on both sides. I owe it to her to hear her out. Come what may afterwards. Yeah, I agree. It's time we head there. After you. Mistra Saloon Tar. Okay A lot of these are just fantasy names I don't recognize Knight Amulet Salmon Strength to endure And the courage to resist uh, let's 
dinosaurs. Okay. There she stands, just as Elminster promised. Mistra, goddess of the weave, mother of all magic. The old man wasn't lying. She's opened the summoning channel. Can't you feel it? Gail's right. The very air around the statue crackles with magic, as though the weave itself were coursing beneath her stony skin. Interesting. A stream of pure, undiluted weave. I only have to reach out, and it will carry me to Mistra, wherever she may be. Go on then, Gail. We'll be here waiting for you when you're finished. Time was, I'd have given my right arm for a chance to speak with Mr. again. <laughs> the left one, too. Maybe a knee. Yeah. I need to get more drink. Um, save. Do, 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 because this is going to be a conversation and I want drink so that way I can talk. So, control. Plus. Alright. Let's alt tab. Alright, cool. Um. Cool. Uh. Yep, yeah, you're ready for the scale. Am I? Yeah. Go right. I am a strong, capable wizard, and this is no more than a casual reunion with an ex-lover. My omnipotent, omniscient ex-lover. I always uh, wonder what being nervous would feel like. I hate it. Do you want me to go with you? I, I can. Just actually piss her off more than anything. Uh. Sounds reasonable. Why do you care what she thinks of you? Pull together. Pull up yourself otherwise. Uh, do you know what you're gonna say? During my time locked away in Waterdeep, I prepared a quite comprehensive speech for her on the subject of our former relationship and the manner in which it ended. Alas, recent events have rendered the majority of it moot, so I'm gonna have to improvise. Unless you have any words of wisdom to impart before I go. Wait, you're not taking me with you? Uh, seek forgiveness, make her squirm, give anything away. Shouldn't go to her. Yeah, you're not taking me with you. The summoning channel Mistra has provided is for me alone. No one else is permitted to enter it, no matter how talented a user of the weave they are. Well, uh, seek forgiveness, Scale. Hmm, you're right. A yeah. heartfelt apology is the surest way to a goddess's heart and her favor. I pray that she'll be in a forgiving mood. If she weren't the one I'd be praying to. <laughs> I'll only be gone for a matter of moments. The Outer Plains experience time quite differently to our own. Wait for me. Please. All right. Gale of Waterdeep. You look well. Mistra. I never thought we'd speak again like this. Why am I here? There is much unsaid between us, but time runs ever short. You discovered what lies at the heart of the Absolute, the Crown of Causes. And you disobeyed my instruction. Why? I didn't want to die. And when I saw the Crown, I thought I might not have to, if I only understood its power. 
And you believe you have the right to such an understanding? The past cannot be undone with self-pity, nor can a future be forged. Only with the truth will you see the way ahead. The fragment of magic you tried to return to me was not of my creation. It was the Carsite Weave. It is a corrupted, half-born magic, wrought in the brief moment Carsus ascended to godhood. It hungers for power, just as he did, and it can never be sated. You unleashed something that would consume all magic in existence, and yet you thought only of preserving yourself. That can't be. It wasn't. Couldn't have been. I only wished to prove myself worthy. I had no idea. You wow. were already worthy. What you lacked was patience, and it cost you dearly. When the Carsite Weave entered your body, your gifts were the first thing it consumed. The only reason the orb sleeps is because I have allowed it to feed on the true weave. A temporary measure, but one that will not be enough to save us. With each day that passes, the Elder Brain threatens to become a new kind of god. Its worshippers, a scourge of soulless illithids. If you will not use the orb to end this abomination, then you must find a way to separate crown and host. When you've done this, you must surrender the crown of Carsis to me. I won't let you down again. When the Absolute is vanquished, I will surrender Carsis' powers to you. You have my word. Thank you. May the Weave's light guide your purpose, and its wisdom guide your hand. The future of magic rests on your shoulders. Gale of Waterdeep. I promise you, it is a burden you are strong enough to bear. So... What are you going to do? Now they have all this. Right with ancient secrets. Plus two to all saving throws. Anointed in splendor. Plus two to all saving throws. Wow. <laughs> On mortal soil once more. I can't believe I saw her. After all this time. How do you feel now that you've done it? <laughs> Relieved. Drained. Proud of myself for summoning the courage to go to her in the first place. And, if I'm being totally honest, a bit lightheaded. As if it wasn't enough to have seen her again. She didn't exactly summon me there for small talk. The Carsite Weave. Within me this whole time. I knew the orb was no ordinary ball of magic before it to be Carsus's malignant creation. Gods! How did I not see that? Um, to be fair, I didn't think of that either. All, it's all too easy to miss things when you're blinded by desire. Mm, true enough. There's a reason such unwitting heroes have been the backbone of lyric and legend for as long as both have existed. Mm. Even so, I was hardly some naive apprentice at the time. I considered myself an archmage, and yet was fool enough to be mistaken for a common conjurer. At least now I'm armed with the truth. And Mistress Expectations. Once I bring the crown of Carsus to her, I can put everything right. 
The orb, too. I'll be myself again. For all that's worth. We're going to cure you, I promise. A great man with or without the orb. Uh, fair incarnation of you, I hope. Not the impulsive wreck who at least the orb in the first place. Uh, I suffer. No, immortality sucks. I mean, I'm part dragon, so I might be immortal, but yeah. We're going to cure you, I promise. Thank you. Yeah. There aren't many I'd trust to stand beside me on such a journey. If you were still, who would do so because they believed I deserved such a chance? If I could promise you one thing in return for your faith in me, it's this. I will use everything in my power to ensure we defeat this evil. Not everything. I will not let you down. We're now, not blowing you up. I believe we have a date with an elder brain to get to. Shall we? Oh, not this very moment. We've got a few days of stuff we need to get to. Alright, so on the map, there's investigate murders and explore... I guess visit the Emperor's old hideout might be what we do. Five ghouls that are never going to die. Better not be cursed. Turn back. This is Hold on, Thornil. I'm tired of standing here. Devella's been up there for ages. <laughs> Some diversion would be. Uh welcome. maybe I could be of help. Chances are the constable will throw you down the stairs, but go ahead, citizen. So Gail has a plus two to all saving throws. Mm. I applaud your taste. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Plus 10 wisdom. Plus 10 intelligence. Plus 11 constitution. So with advantage from Warcaster, Gale will never in his life ever fail a concentration check. Unless he rolls two natural ones. In which case, I'll just call bullshit. Because that's a one in four hundred chance. Anywho. Have to keep going. Up the stairs. Stumbling's Parlor. A place to receive clients and performance. I wonder if it's as I remember it. Hello, I'd like to help with the crime scene. Bollocks! I told those idiots not to let anyone through. Yeah, I'm here to help. You! Name, rank, and reason for interrupting an active crime scene. For your sake, the last one better be bloody good. And O'Brien, adventure, curiosity. <laughs> no one just... Uh, An adventurer? <laughs> Fantastic. We don't have enough of those in Baldur's Gate. 
<laughs> Unless you've like got me. useful information, leave me More to my, my work. Duke Stalmain's dead, and I've got it's to find thing. who killed her. And I hope not. Uh, we've got tadpoles in our brain. Anyways, need some help. I've dealt with much worse than this. Scream scene to scribe. Sure, how help solve this? Sorry, I'm not. I'm not Shaggy, or Fred or Daphne. Like, I'm not part of Mystery Inc. I'm not good at investigation. But, I am good at persuasion. I mean, that's a 30. Ugh. <laughs> uh. I have nearly divine levels of persuasion. Uh, I can't roll lower than like a 15. It's ridiculous. Suppose it couldn't hurt. We're scraping the barrel as is right now. Here's all I found. The Duke was paralyzed by poison. Absolute symbols scrawled on the floor in blood. Hand removed, pre-mortem. The symbol's the bit that bothers most. You use poison when you want to get away with murder. So why leave a symbol at the scene of the crime? It doesn't make any sense. And the removal of the hand? I have a theory, but... Oh, well, you're a civilian. That one will be for me to follow up. Persuasion, tell me your theory. Perhaps I can help. Like I said, I can't lo roll lower than a 15. I've been working on an assignment. A side project of sorts. I think the removal of the hand is the key, but I just can't figure out how. Corpses without hands are showing up all over the city, together with dioramas of death and murder. It has to be connected. Brutality of it. The unnecessary brutality. My theory is that it's got something to do with the Lord of Murder himself, Baal. Uh. The higher ups don't want to hear that, of course. The last thing they need is public hysteria about a cult that was supposed to have died out over a century ago. <sighs> I'd follow up myself. But while this uniform gets me into certain places, it keeps me out of others. Especially places that don't want to be found. I understand. I'll look into this. Perfect. Uh, unofficially, mind. As far as the higher-ups are concerned, you're still just a civilian. If you end up breaking any laws, well, I won't be able to help you. Crap. Report back to me if you find anything. And Look, I'll Thank try. You. If I'm right, you'll be doing a great service to the city. None of this makes sense. Uh, frumpy hats. She gave me a copy of that. To take the hand is strange. To take nothing else is even strange. Bloody ring. Guess the killer didn't want jewelry. I wonder if any of these rooms are available to rent. I wonder if any of these rooms are available to rent. Is 
Why can't I just buy one of the rooms? Oi, oi. Pull up a seat. If you can find one spare, that is. Uh... Looking for a place to stay. I'll tell you what. The murder upstairs has brought some punters, but it's also really spooked folk out of renting rooms. If we get you staying up there, perhaps folk will calm down and realize there's nothing to worry about. You can have the whole upstairs floor until this killer thing blows over. You're optimistic. Uh, perhaps I could get a discount on the accommodation? <laughs> Charity! In Baldur's Gate! Good one. Hey, it was worth a shot. I my hands and turn this place to rubble. It's like the next to a murder scene? Oh, really? A tavern stirring crime. Shh, let's get a discount. Yeah. Hem. What I think you meant was... I get a discount on this room. 5 plus 4 plus 4 plus 3... 27. Keep your voice down about the bloody murder upstairs! <clears throat> Top floor's all yours. If it gets a bit too noisy at night, well, don't sleep above a pub. I love it. I just love that I got the room for free. Uh, speech characters. They just talk their way out of everything. Fortune <sighs> is thing of the past in the Elf Song Tavern. To purchase camp supplies for Rusty. Visit. Ah. Look, it's Scratch. Pet the dog. Pet the doggy. That's a good Scratch. There we go. All right, Scratch. I'll leave. I'll leave you be. I think he's curious about the animals. Oh, uh, we get nice beds. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, is everyone all right beside each other? Well, not everyone. Shadow Heart decided that she was going to be extra and be away from the rest of my group. Men, women, children, all barred from entry. A damn travesty. A decade ago, Where? Baldur's Gate would have welcomed any and everyone seeking refuge. Who would take in these souls, if not the Jewel of Baldurin? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, to be fair, I haven't really... Uh, paid much attention, I guess. As long as Gortash is in yeah. charge, I'll they'll be left Gortash. shivering at the gates. All part of the plan, of course. Step one, create an army and order it to march on the city. Step two, shut the gates in the name of security. Step three, bask in the applause. Gortash hasn't made Baldur's Gate safe. He's made it a prison, and when his army breaks through, the people will have nowhere to run. To make this city a safe haven, we'll need to bathe Gortash and his allies in their own blood. Where did you know her at all? Yeah. Let's have a look at myself. 
magic mirror that lets you change your appearance. gold in my chest. That's a lot of stuff, just sort by type. Uh, open. There we go. Wow, this is a lot of stuff. clothes and Thor's clothes in here. touched tadpole never going to do anything with that mind flare stuff at least not on this playthrough Oh crap, buff tank is about to die. Huh. This vessel is at thy disposal. Do what thou wilt. But the vessel only stares. This soul awaits thy command. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Okay. Yeah, continue leveling cleric. Hit accept. It grants you a little bit of extra HP. It grants you an additional spell slot that you can use to cast cure wounds. Take hero! I'm breathing fast! I must heal! Take hero! Take hero! Take hero! Up, that's most of your HP.
Hopefully the adamantine armor lets you... Don't need healing ward, warring bonds. Aid, maybe revivify and remove curse. And those three are the only spells from the wizard spell list that you actually need. This vessel is at thy- But the vessel only stares blankly. This soul- For a dull moment. Yeah. I don't need to level up. Let's see, elixirs. Yes! Oh no wait, I'm missing stuff. I hovered over it to where it looks like. Yeah, whatever. Extract all, maybe learn a few new ingredients. Elixir of Bloodlust requires Ashes of Warg Thing. It requires three Warg Things. That sucks. These are craftable. moment it doesn't seem like I have anything that's craftable that I would want. up to 20, I guess. I'm listening. Oh, nothing would give me greater pleasure. Magical. Yeah. And you had conversation stuff. How can I help? Why does Ilmaster have faith? I've often asked myself the same question. I never really found a satisfactory answer. He clearly sees something in me that I can't. The wisdom and intelligence required to overcome almost insurmountable odds, perhaps? Or the stupidity required to attempt it. I take it as a compliment either way. 
You don't get to be 13 centuries old without becoming a sound judge of character. And cheese, apparently. Regret not using the orb when you had the chance. I regret many things in my life. Choosing to be here, intact and unexploded, is not one of them. Good. For now, to have a few more days in your company, no. I wouldn't change a thing. Good. Wow. Gale is the chosen of Mistra. Congrats to him, I think. Hope he knows what he's doing. We haven't fared very well with other Chosen so far. I need to find a way forward. Yeah. Do you have any thoughts, Lizelle? I do not trust Mistra to do right with the crown. But I think I trust Gale even less. He should give it to her and be done with it. Or his lust for power might well consume him. I'm gonna not talk to you anymore because you agree with me to some level. Oh look, they're, they're playing again. I guess he was, Scratch was done investigating all of the ghouls. It seems Gale has made amends with Mistra. Good for him. Though... I don't see any such reconciliation between myself and Shah any time soon. Yeah. Yeah, that would be my fault. Probably. Gale is a better man than most. To choose what is right, even after what Mistra asked of him. Me? I think I would have tugged the great goddess's hair a bit first. This crown seems too powerful and dangerous an object for mere mortals to possess. Too dangerous even for Mistra. But I would sooner trust it with a god than a man. Yeah. Hi there. Pet the cub. There you go. Camp life seems to suit the young owlbear. His coat of feathers seems fuller. His eyes look bright and inquisitive. There we go. Let's see their friends. Alright, so I have a giant area all to myself and my companions. Ends the day whenever I want. I guess leave camp. Just with my so buff tank was apparently like half an inch away from death. That was that's not good. Chitty want one. Sorry, um, I can't sell you any right now, but you can look. Mum will be back soon. I mean, um, <laughs> where the fuck did you come from? He was not there a second ago. Hello, nice day for a walk. You don't want none of this. Trust me. It's not what it looks like. I promise. Well, what's going on? You want. You want to gossip. 
fine. To the Elf Song Tavern basement. It's where the Emperor's old stuff is. Where I might be able to steal things from him. Like a way to kill him! Yeah, he wants to make me a mind flare. He's really hesitant. Really hesitant to take no for an answer. Hopefully, I can just walk downstairs. Also got some fruit this time. The cellars are just the stairs. There, you find my old lodgings. Of course. Use the tiger's blood lust. Try and position Carlac in such a way to where let's her kill multiple. Okay. Yeah, they act independently. Most parts. Oh. oh yeah, I have a ring that heals me every turn. So let's just kill a bunch of these rats. One go. Oh, I could twin spell, whatever. XP for rats. Ridiculous. Wow.
two wraths left. Convergence the attack as a bonus action. There's a hidden door that leads further in. The mechanism to open it is somewhere among the blind racks. Dominate beast. Okay. Out of these rats, all down here. At the ready. Seems simple enough. On the other side, you will find a passageway known only to those invited to do business. So, despite the fact that you could very easily be able to walk through here, the game doesn't let you. Okay, that's that's kind of dumb, but whatever. Satellite so detector's been set off in the tower. What the gift want here? Save. Got to end the episode here because oh my gosh, it's almost two hours. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, hope you will all enjoyed the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.